So I figured I would talk to you guys from my Evo that I am so much in love with. In the first video, we got the car started. The second video, we found a lot of problems wrong with the car, and we know that there's gonna be a lot of things that need to be changed out and put to new. After discovering all of the crash damage parts, I realized there was a lot of things that I needed to get. So we gotta call the dealership, we gotta figure out how we can get these parts, because it is June right now, and this car is still fully assembled, and I need to, uh, I need to get this thing ready for SEMA. I'm gonna paint this car, I'm gonna bodywork this whole car, and I'm gonna redo the engine. And uh, who else knows what we're gonna find on this car because so far it's got a history. Let's get to work. Good afternoon, parts. This is Frank talking to you. Hey, Frank, I'm looking for a specific part for my Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. All right, what part are we looking for today? Okay, the part number is MR9901. I don't have it in stock. I'm so quickly I can get it though. Okay, that is no longer being uh, manufactured. Uh, nobody has one. I can't even get it ordered from Japan, maybe even? No. The, uh, the salvage yard would be, would be my, where I would turn to. Damn. Okay, well, well, thank you very much for your help, Frank. No problem. So the next day I set out early to my local Mitsubishi dealership where my friend Tyrone was determined to find these parts for me. He was already helping me and had been a huge help in this process already. So as I got there, I had a lot of confidence that we would get what we needed. I'm over here at Sport Mitsubishi. I'm picking up the last of my parts. I have the rear bumper closeout part. And now I have to talk to Tyrone here about my structural parts. And I don't think he has good news for me, so let's see what he has to say. Tyrone, please tell me you have something good for me, man. I'm sorry, man. All your uh, structural parts, man, they're obsolete. Mitsubishi does not make them anymore. Only parts I can find is the uh, core support and a couple of the bumper covers for your uh, Oh my goodness. Out of exterior, man. So essentially what you're saying is that they are no more and they will never make them again. No more, man. I have a project now that I can't finish. Ugh. Okay, so you've heard it from two different parts, guys. Both of them were really helpful. Thank you so much, Frank and Tyrone. But you know what? This is the kind of problems that get me excited because now we have something we have to solve. There's an issue that we've come across that most people would turn away from. And that's what car guys like us love about projects like this. We have a problem, we have to solve it, and it's something that is just, it gets our blood flowing. So I've done some research, I've got some things figured out. They might work, they might not. The worst that I can find out is that it doesn't work and then I'm back to square one. Anyway, let's, all right, hopefully this works. the junkyard and I have to get a part that is discontinued from my car so it is really hard to own an Evo right now because it is impossible to find any structural parts as you'll see earlier in the video when I went to Mitsubishi but now I get to have fun here at the junkyard cutting apart this car so that I can put it on my car Today we got a crazy haul. I got everything that I needed that's discontinued from the Evo and I have some parts that would have cost me $300 and this cost me a whopping total of $41. So I saved $260 roughly just by coming to the junkyard with a little bit of hard work. Hopefully it pays off when I finish this Evo. So Jack, you have some OEM parts. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got junkyard parts. Mm -hmm. But I know that Evos need aftermarket parts, don't they? Absolutely. And uh, this, is a, this is actually something I've been looking at for a very long time. And I am really, really excited to show you guys this. And show you, because this will be your first time seeing these parts. And um, Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what parts these are. So they, they look expensive. Were they expensive? So they are a great bang for the buck. These things are like 
this is what's going to set your car apart mm -hmm. because every other Evo is going to have its thing, but these are actually customized for me. So that's really cool. And uh, this, this is just is, for you. Yeah, this is actually just for me. So I picked the color. Uh, it actually has uh, Jack builds it in, oh. in certain areas. So we got these all from JD Customs and uh, they supported this build and this channel since the beginning. And uh, they graciously sent these out and these are exactly what we need, right? I, I mean, yeah. you're, you're excited oh, for dude. a long time. When it got here, the, the, I, I immediately opened the first thing that I knew what it was and I took a picture with it and was smiling from ear to ear and it looks amazing. It is absolutely by far more than I expected and, and better. It's just, it's gonna make, it's it's literally the chef's kiss. Okay. The <laughs> it is, it is, it is that good. All right, we need to start unboxing this because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. antsy. All right, so what do I, no, no, no. This is titanium, sir. Uh, we don't want to have any incidents like uh, on the uh, McLaren exhaust. Are you insinuating that the fact that I have a permanent thumbprint in my McLaren exhaust, you're saying that's a bad thing? Yes. You do not want this on no. your Evo? No. Okay. I, I do, I love you, man, but I don't want your fingerprints on my car. Can you can you put my glove on, please? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay. Oh, I love how you did that. Yeah. It gives it a little, a little bit of warmth. There you go. Oh, it is warm. And oil oh. from my skin. There you go. Okay. There you go. Just stretch it on there. There we yeah. go. Hey. Perfect. Oh, buddy. Hey. Look at that's almost it's good. good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> uh huh. So I'm gonna glove up because you know the saying. Right. You know. Yep. Of course yeah, we do. Yeah. All right. So this is the coil on plug setup Ooh. that they sent me and yeah look at that dude that looks dope that is so nice i that's mean that's really cool they have the titanium hardware they have the titanium uh plate that holds it but also this is the uh no-show setup so you don't see the wiring it actually goes underneath and it completes like you know over here and over here that's so cool it keeps it very clean and, mm -hmm. and i mean everything down to the last piece. Uh, they, they have the fuse for when you swap this over to uh, coil plugs instead of the two coil packs. Yeah, you need so, a bigger fuse for that, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so it goes from like a, what, like a five to a 15, I think? Or yeah. Is it 15? Yeah, 15. And that's just for the uh, the drivers, I believe, but uh, yeah. that's that's so cool. Dude, I mean, I mean, it's awesome. Please don't drop any of this. this no, looks, no, no, this looks... these are Denso too, so. Nice. Legit stuff. So I mean, I mean, just let's just put that like you know right there. It's beautiful. Just rest, you rest, rest. rest. <laughs> you had a big day. Had a big day. With the guy. <laughs> but these, so this is something that I'm really, really excited about because when you look in an engine bay on an Evo, if you just look at the factory components like the power steering and the washer reservoir, or not washer reservoir, but the um, uh, overflow tank, mm -hmm. they they just look really bland and they kind of uh, make your engine bay. It doesn't stand out. It, no. it, it looks very factory, and we're not about that here. We were about that OEM plus, but dude, this check is check that guy out. This is, that's nuts. Look at the quality of the welds. Like, I mean, these guys do some yeah. top notch stuff, but they send it with all the tubing that you need and everything like that. But I mean, wonderful. So you got, you got a little. Uh, so this is this is what uh, power steering. Power steering for yeah, it. Okay. See, so you get a little drip in the steering wheel. Oh, the, dude, that I didn't even notice That's that. That's pretty cool, right? That's dude, adorable. I, yeah. it was a, it was... So it's a, it's all like machined. So open this up. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Like, I mean, the fitment on this is. You use this as a as a jam phenomenal. jar at your house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's all. That that's is... all machined, and that's. And they color the titanium themselves. So this is a, sp a specific color that I asked for. Nice. I, I asked for bronze because I really like the look of that. And uh, my theming, I guess I give you guys a little insight to the theming on Shh. what I'm going to do. Don't do that. Should I tell? I can no. Tell. No? No. I mean, the people want to know. Yeah, you're going to have bronze everything. Yes, bronze it's, everything. Yeah, it's going to be... Just open the bay and just go... It's, well, it's going to be like uh, the Statue of Liberty before it turned uh, green. green. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. So it's going to be copper. You're going to have a copper Evo. There you go. <laughs> so this is the coolant overflow. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm going to need a razor. I have to be careful. Remember, always towards yourself. Yeah, always towards yourself with fury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, same thing here. This is the overflow tank, and check that out right there. Dude. It's got the little logo on it, dude. So I picked this logo, too. So you Did can, you? Yeah, you can customize the logos. Uh, that was one of the things I was like, oh, I want 
you know, I want them all to be very similar in, in styling. So mm -hmm. I went online and I Googled a bunch of different logos and this was the one that I uh, came up with. And then they have their, uh, their logo here around that too. But mm -hmm. I mean, this is awesome. This is gonna, like, like I said, this is gonna really set this car apart. I can't wait to see this. And, and you also have, do you have the hardware? Do you have hardware? Yeah, yeah it, comes, it comes with everything. Uh, I actually have a kit. I'll come over here, we'll jump ahead a little bit, but um, so this is all the Whoa! engine bay dress up stuff. So that's so cool. Yeah, so it's it's nice, dude. And they do custom bolts too. So they have the Allen ones and they have like 10 millimeter. Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna need this for every car I own. I, absolutely. Yeah. Come on, dude. It's it's really cool. And they do custom badging too. So cool. That's something that I have somewhere, and I'll show you. But do I have any cars that perhaps need some uh, hardware? There's probably at least 15 of them here. I'm just saying. This thing? Nah, nah, nah it's fine. Nah. Nah. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about that car. Mm. But here you go. This is the uh, this is the one that I cheesed with when it when it came. Whoa! So that's, that's a scratch in the plastic. That's not scratch there. So that's cool, but dude. Yeah, it is awesome. So this is a heat shield. This goes in front of the. Uh, this goes in front of the. Uh, Radiator. You know, the shroud, thing. Turbo. Uh, uh, brain. Your water nader. Yeah, the water nader. That's yeah. the one. That's uh -huh. the one. No, this goes in front of the uh, valve cover. So this sits right in front of the valve cover, and it just kind of deflects the heat from the uh, manifold. So, okay. Yeah, you know, good stuff. Very cool. And now uh, that heat coming into your engine bay knows where to subscribe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I got an oil cap, too. This thing is really cool. Actually, uh... See, there's there's a lot of like geeks in the audience, and people are like, "Oh, why would you consider an oil cap to be cool or whatever?" But like, when it's machined yeah. and it's special, it looks really cool. And you put it on your car, you're like, "Oh, it just makes it feel like a new car." It, it does like a new oil cap. It does, and not only that, it like it just it's one of those things where you're like, "Man, this is this is really nice." It's like, a high quality part for sure. Absolutely, yeah. and it and it and it makes it stand out. It doesn't just look like every other car. You know what I mean? Like. And people can buy these things and put them on their car, but like, you can personalize it like that. Like uh -huh. that's that's what I love about this. And this is this is definitely my personality. I you know mm -hmm. I got I got a little bit of the hot boy. Oh in hold me. on hold on you oh you, I'm sorry you, you messed something up. Did I? Yeah yeah you did. So it says um, it, it should say Jack build and then sit. Yeah there's Jack a, there's build a, sit. Yeah there's a. Uh, <laughs> There's, I mean, you can also put an H right here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I'm no, uh, you know. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I go there? Going. No, I'm not going to go there. Let's just keep going. Uh, so this is a battery tray, and it has also, let me open that up because you got to see that. Mm -hmm. But it is a. Always towards yourself. Huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm learning. <Yeah. laughs> I've only cut myself once today, so. Good, good. We'll get that number up. Yeah. So again, titanium, and it's in the bronze. Wow. Yeah, this is, and the thing is going to be very, it's spread out among the engine bay, but it's spread out evenly, so I think that's going to actually really accent it very well. Mm -hmm. But on the bottom is a titanium tray as well, so this is for a mini battery. For the battery, okay. So I've got a mini battery I'm going to put in there. So realistically, you know, titanium and all of that doesn't make a, a huge difference but like little by little, it does save some weight. Yeah. And I think that is the ethos of the Evo. It wants to save a little bit of weight yeah, here, and, here there and there and makes it, you know, a little bit more sporty. I mean, and this definitely does that. I mean, wet, it's still under 3,000 pounds. So, what? Yeah, it's like 20, 2850. That is something like that. So, I mean, dude, it's a light car already. That might be like the lightest car in my garage. Mm, right now, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get some heavy stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, let's see what else we got. The this is the reservoir hardware. But here is oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. This was this was uh, something that I was really excited about as well. So this is a cam position sensor bracket. Uh, ra uh, it's actually a heat shield. Heat shield for yeah. a cam position sensor. Yeah, so it doesn't get too much heat because it's such a tight, compact engine bay, mm -hmm. and it's right next to where the exhaust manifold comes out. So that's the turbo super smart. And all that, so. Yeah. I mean, and it looks, it looks freaking awesome. I mean, yeah. they, they all have like a laser, the laser etched logo. It's like so, Koenigsegg, I mean, man. I mean, like they put that little ghost on everything. Exactly. You know? they, exactly. Got, <laughs> they got branding. It's called branding, okay? That's true. So this is the uh, strut tower. Mm -hmm. So strut tower and strut brace. So this goes 
on the firewall area, and this goes across the struts. So those are all in bronze as well. Wow. Super okay. cool looking. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Good thing. Sweet, sick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you got, you can't have. What? Can't, can't, oh, come on. I mean, it's a bronze dipstick. Come, come on. on. So like, I, how do you put the, the regular dipstick in the, do, is there like a pin or something? Yeah, it just attaches to the factory, the factory uh, dipstick. So they asked me if I wanted to have that on there already, but I was like, you know what? I just probably can put that on yeah. mine, be fine, so. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Yeah. That's, like, this is so cool. This is, this is real geek stuff. So, so this is, this is where you get geeky right here. So, okay. you know what these are? These are for the turbo to manifold. What? So, yes, so, it's like the little details. Like, uh -huh. when you look down and you see the manifold, it's gonna be right there. And a turbo is going to be sitting right there, mm -hmm. and you're going to see this really nice hardware looking right back at you. It's, it's not like a crusty stainless steel thing that's going to, you know, rust over time. This is well, going stainless to... steel doesn't really rust, uh, but 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 uh, uh, crappy stainless steel does. Yeah, which that car. Which which there's probably a lot. <laughs> that, car has, yeah. that car has the the cheap stainless steel, but uh, I was just being the uh, YouTube comment section like, well, you said stainless, and actually three hundred four stainless. Blah, 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 blah. This is very true. Yeah. This is very true, and they were all right. Okay, yeah. you guys, thank you guys. Every, everybody's thank right yeah, in the comments. So, section. see, I I went all out on this, like uh. So these are exhaust studs, yeah. exhaust manifold studs. Wow. Yeah. In titanium, so it has every single piece that I need, and it's not only just it that it's just titanium, it's like dress up titanium, mm -hmm. so it has. The really nice, like I mean, everything is like just really well done. We're it, gonna see if uh, they require any um, any sealant or anything like that. Uh, I, I I doubt it, but uh, I know titanium has different properties than steel. Yeah. So the way they heat up and and whatnot, but uh, it's uh, dude, this is like next level stuff. This it really is, man. Like this, I was so happy when this stuff came. It it just is. It, it really makes the car stand out, and that's what I wanted. I wanted this thing to just have that look mm -hmm. that was like when you open it, it's clean, it's functional, and and it's bronze, and it's bronze, and it's real bronze. I, I love bronze. all of its bronze. <laughs> I'm like a I'm bronze member. That's right. I love bronze. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I love being third place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Power steering, heat shield. So uh -huh. this guy right here looks great. Hardware on that too. Nice. And, and then, then we got then, even more bolts. Oh, it's, it's, there's everything. So, you notice these aren't bronze, right? No. So, there's a reason for that, and I'll show you. Was it a shipping error? No, I actually chose to do this because what I'm going to be using with my uh, radiator, the radiator is going to have that uh, aluminum slash, you know, brush look to mm -hmm. it. Uh, I'm going to do something a little special on top. So, what I plan to do is I'm going to take a Scotch Bright pad and make a... Uh, Cross uh, a cross directional, like scratch in the top of mm -hmm. the radiator. Yeah, so it gives so, that brush effect. Yeah. So it gives that brush effect because that's going to be the only silverish looking thing in my engine bay. So I had them do this. That's cool. That looks cool, Look right? Look at that. It's like a little fade, dude. So and they did that. Like I, I was, I said exactly how I wanted. I was like right around the first, the second bend. I wanted to just kind of fade into the mm -hmm. raw look. And now it has that raw look with the sideways scratch. And I think matching that with the radiator is going to tie it in really nicely. I think it's going to be great. So it's like one of those little things, those little touches that you're like, man, I really want this to, to stand out but not be like super obvious, you know? But it's going to, oh, well, maybe it's going to be a little obvious. So where, where's the um, Yosemite Sam mud flaps? I got to put those on there? Yeah, I thought, I thought no, that's, no. What, that's what every SEMA build does. No. No? no. Well, that's what every... Listen. Every, what? Listen. You're telling me that there's no Yosemite Sam mud flaps? It's an Evo. It's not an SCI. Okay. okay yeah. I'm sorry, SCI. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. They're all busy <laughs> working on their cars anyway. Too busy with their vapes. That's right. No, okay. <laughs> so this is uh, this is the uh, badging that goes on the firewall. And is, this your, is this your VIN number? Yep. And it designates the car's... Uh, engine the transaxle i've never seen it like a, an engine id plate yep like that that's so cool yeah so i can they do that for like every car because yeah, i'm gonna need that absolutely and they can customize it too so they can customize uh things that you want on there to look a certain way but they did all this in-house uh colored it and then did the laser etching on it i mean it looks fantastic that's gonna be I think uh, Throttle actually did that. Mm -hmm. They did that on there, and they used them too. They uh, mm -hmm. JD uh, did that. They did uh, 
the rainbow effect on theirs, I believe. Nice. So that's kind of cool. they knocked it out of the park. All these parts are yeah. just super high-quality, top-notch stuff. Yeah, check that out. That's Look at that. How cool is that? That's brake fluid? Yeah. That's a little brake rotor and Dude. slotted and drilled. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Like, That's I mean, so cool. Come on. Like, it's, you know, like, <laughs> it's an, I'm geeking out a little bit, man. Okay, so, so realistically, let's say you wanted to do this entire thing. Yes. To your car, right? What, what would this, what would this cost? Uh, I think this was a little over, or a little under $4,000 for okay. this stuff. So, it's not bad at all. This is very reasonable for the craftsmanship, yeah. the quality. Not only that, like, I mean, they're getting this color dialed in. So they did every single one of these pieces in this color. Mm -hmm. This was all raw titanium before they put the color mm -hmm. on it. And uh, they customized it to what I wanted. I could have had any one of these things with a logo or a design. Mm -hmm. I actually chose a design that I decided not to go with on this. I kind of thought about it before, and I was like, you know, maybe just to keep it, like, a little more cleaner and simple. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I mean, this... This is the detail that it goes down oh, to. Oh, this is cool. You see what that says? Yes. So that tile goes, blow-off valve. That's, that's the uh, banjo bolts. How cool is that going to be? That's, that's going to be so awesome. And it even has it for the uh, uh, the uh, the V-band. Oh, so nice. So the V-band has. <laughs> so I'm not one to say overkill. It's a little overkill, man. It's a little, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot. But you haven't seen, you haven't seen the last piece yet. So what? There's another piece? We, we have more. We have more. And here we go. I love bronze. Look, look at this. It's bronze. Mm -hmm. And it even has their, let me see if I can get it to show. It has their logo on there. Oh, that's cool. So this actually goes on the cam gears. What? Which, you have adjustable cam gears. Which they have in bronze. bronze on those two. Nice. So even though it seems like kind of like a, maybe there's a lot of bronze going on, it's going to be accented very well with something I think everyone's gonna like, and I'm really excited to see how it looks when it's completed. But oh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. I'm, I'm a, a little bit of a hot boy. What? And I'm gonna be running a- Since uh, when? Yeah, since forever, uh -huh. but it's okay. But <laughs> I'm gonna be running a clear uh, cam gear cover, so. Oh. I, I gotta do it. I, okay. I gotta do it, I mean, it's- Okay. It's gonna you, look- You know what, if it's, if it's with these cam gears and with all the stuff, I'll allow it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, do you like it, though? How do you... What do you think? Well, first of all, it's not my car, so the question is, do you like it? I love it, man. I am, like, floored. This is... Yeah. This is what's... This is what is, like, to me, like, I have to, you know, you, you have to do some things to add your personal touch to stuff, and this is definitely my personal touch to things. It's going to make everything exactly the way I want it, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't even... I couldn't even begin to tell you how happy I am with the way that this stuff looks. It's well, this looks fantastic. fantastic. Uh, now, here's the thing. So, uh, Jack says he hasn't put his personal touch on the car. Uh, meanwhile, the car is... Um, the, car, the, the car is uh, going to have a rebuild like you've never seen uh, ever. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is like a... Uh, you know when they call it like a nut and bolt restoration, like a frame-off restoration? Yeah. This is a frame-off restoration for an Evo. Uh, so Jack getting this, Jack caring about this stuff, yeah, that's that's the entire car. Yeah. That's the entire build. Yeah. So uh, that's what sets it apart. I mean, these parts are nice. I like them a lot. I really yeah. like them. But you are what set this apart. Dude, it, like, a lot of people, I've, I've seen some comments where people are like, I can't believe this is your dream car. But this has always been a car that I have lusted after since I was a kid. And I can remember seeing these things cruising through town with their obnoxious wing which i love by the way so it's, it's it's it literally it's it's like that that stamp of like like it is it makes it it makes that car what that car is i think with the high roof line mm -hmm. it just lines up perfectly with it and I it's think, fantastic yeah yeah that's gonna set this car apart it's gonna make this car look great but dude it is my dream car and i i could not ask for anything else this is exactly what i want like, okay so you need to get to work yeah i'm gonna be very busy because yeah. People don't know what we've done. Nope. And uh, there's also a lot of parts here. Yeah, so. there's a lot of parts. We need All right. To... I'm going to I'm going to get out of your hair. All right. Cuz I'm not I'm not going to I'll be here. I'm if, not going to help you. If you come in in the morning, just kick me, wake me up and I'll just get right back to work. Okay. <laughs> I'll just yell real loud. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Now that we've solved our parts problems, we have a load of new used and aftermarket parts. The Evo is coming along very quickly and I can't wait for you guys to see the next video. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I'm going to drop that video early. I'll see you guys then.